Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Dear viewers, welcome to a new episode of The Quran and Science. Tamir Mumtaz with you and welcoming our dear professor, Dr. Zaghloul Nagar, head of committee on scientific facts in the glorious Quran, Supreme Council on Islamic Affairs. Welcoming our guests, brother Mustafa and brother Fuad. And in this episode, we'll talk about the role of mountains on earth. But first, we'll listen to verse 32 and 33 of Surat al Nazi'at. And by the mountains, He, Allah, has fixed the earth as a provision for you mankind and your cattle. Professor Zaghloul, tell us, tell us about the role of mountains on this land. I begin by praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, our creator, the creator of the universe and of everything that's in it. Our Lord, the Lord of heavens and earth, and of everything uh, created. Uh, the sole uh, deity uh, without parallels, partners, or similitudes. And I seek his blessings and mercy upon our Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, the seal of that long chain of prophets and messengers from Allah for the guidance of man. And being the seal of that long chain of prophets and messengers, meaning no prophet or messenger, will come after him. And being with this quality, Allah has taken the responsibility to preserve his message to Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, in its entirety, in the same language of revelation, the Arabic language, uh, word to word and letter to letter. And this has taken place over the past 14 centuries or so, and will remain until the end of this world, the only testimony for every human being uh, containing the divine guidance to man and the only documentation of that guidance until the end of this existence. Uh, the verse we are talking about uh, we are still in Surah Al-Nazi'at and we commented in the last episode on uh, the Quranic uh, verses and after that Allah has caused the earth to expand through volcanic activity. Uh, and he has gushed out of it, uh, its water and its pasture. And then the verses continue, uh, talking about uh, uh, the creation of mountains and the role of mountains on earth. And it says, وَالْجِبَالَ أَرْسَاهَا مَتَاعًا لَكُمْ وَلِأَنْعَامِكُمْ And by mountains, Allah has fixed the earth. And many commentators in the past read وَالْجِبَالَ أَرْسَاهَا meaning Allah has fixed the mountains. Uh, definitely Allah has fixed the mountains. But uh, the, the pronoun here uh, relates always to earth. وَالْجِبَالَ أَرْسَاهَا يعني Allah has fixed the earth by mountains. وَالْجِبَالَ أَرْسَاهَا مَتَاعًا لَكُمْ وَلِأَنْعَامِكُمْ As a, a bounty from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as a provision from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for you mankind and for your cattle, and meaning all animals uh, on the surface of that planet. And the scientists have wondered always, what's the role of mountains? What do mountains do on the surface of our planet? The only thing that people could reach in the early days is that mountains are high reliefs. And uh, with these high reliefs, they could use them as summer resorts. They could use them for particular type of plantation, particular type of animals uh, to breed. But they couldn't find anything else. Other than that, in 1991, I wrote a book uh, in English called The Geological Concept of Mountains in the Glorious Quran. And this book was published in Washington, D.C. And I recalled in that book many definitions of mountains in Arabic, English, French, and German literature. All the documentation uh, before 1990, described mountains as 
protrusions on the surface of the earth. Professor, just one minute. Yes. Mountains, there are different types of mountains? Or? Oh, there are many different types of mountains. Oh, so the definition is for, for the mountain itself or for the different types of mountains? For, uh, for uh, mount, mountains in general. In general. In general. Yeah. Okay. So uh, all these uh, records describe mountains as surface protrusions um, above the ground. Um, amazingly enough, the Quran describes the mountains in this surah as pegs or pickets. And in as much as the peg or picket uh, is deeply buried in the ground, uh, the greatest length of it is buried in the ground, and the smallest part of it protrudes above the surface. Recent discoveries in the area of earth sciences have proved that mountains are exactly the same. Again, people ask, what's the role of mountains? What do, what do they do? Uh, do they fix the earth? Uh, the very first thing that came uh, to the minds of uh, scientists is that the geographical distribution of mountains on the surface of our planet um, must have a meaning. Uh, we have mountains running north-south or running east-west, and this must have a meaning. Mm. And uh, lately, the, the scientists came to realize the fact that mount, mountains on the surface of the globe are a means of fixation of the earth as a, as a planet because it, uh, the earth wobbles as it uh, rotates uh, around its own axis. And this wobbling effect would have been very devastating, really. Uh, life could not withstand the wobbling of the earth particularly if it was at a high speed. Mm. So they came to the conclusion that the geographical distribution of mountains on the surface of our planet simulate exactly pieces of lead that are put in the wheel of the car or any form of wheel so that it can minimize the wobbling um, around its own axis, you see. Because if you drive anything straight in a straight line, it tends to wobble unless you use these weights and you are a mechanical engineer and you should know this better than me. Yeah. Um, uh, really, so they said, the geographical distribution of mountains on the surface of our planet has got a purpose. And this purpose is to minimize the wobbling of the earth as it rotates around its own axis. Can, we, can you mention the speed of rotation so that we can imagine? Uh, the speed of rotation um, is uh, in the range of, uh, uh, of course, so, uh, the, uh, the Earth rotates around its axis uh, once every 24 hours. Yes. And the speed is around uh, 30 uh, kilometers per second. Wow. Uh, 30 kilometers per second. Per second. Yes. yes. So it's a, it's a high speed, mm -hmm. relatively speaking, you see. Especially and, a big mass. And it was a much higher. Mm -hmm. It was really much higher before the creation of mountains. Mm -hmm. And uh, the beauty about this expression, Allah is talking to us about the successive phases of creation of heaven and earth. And says, وَالْأَرْضَ بَعْدَ ذَلِكَ دَحَاهَ After a certain phase, he's talking about the uh, expansion of the earth, he has gushed out from within the earth, both its water and its pasture. And then say, And science has proved that the creation of mountains uh, followed the creation of the earth. Uh, it was not initiated mm. with the creation of the earth. It was exactly it was, my question. <laughs> it was, yes, yes. Uh -huh. a, later, a later phase. Yes. Uh -huh. And uh, the, uh, the Quran uh, spells out this fact in a, a, a large number of other verses, you see. And the, the earth was then stabilized by creating mountains, uh, by means of mountains. So the very first means of mountains, um, or first objective mountains, uh, is stabilization of the earth as a planet, uh, uh, rotating around its own axis. So the, suc the successive sequence of the creation or that we have here. In the, I can't hear you well. The successive uh, sequence of the creation that we have in the Quran here also related to the truth, to, to the scientific facts definitely. that we have nowadays. Oh, definitely. Yes. Right. You see, the Quran mm -hmm. is, uh, uh, emphatically states that the creation of mountains uh, followed the creation of the earth. Mm -hmm. 
uh, while anybody would imagine that everything was created in one go, mm. and Allah is capable of that. But uh, really, look at the precision. Well, Arsaha, after the formation of the solid earth, after the formation of the continental masses, and the split of these continental masses, and it's drifting away from each other, after the gushing of water uh, from it, and the formation of the atmosphere, Allah has created mountains. Mm. So the role of the mountains is really to keep the earth at a balance. Yes. From falling, from wobbling. From wobbling, yes. Yeah. So, therefore, we can say that the size of a mountain range is proportional to the size of the, the land or the size of the Definitely. continent. Definitely. Definitely. And this is also Definitely. discovered. This is proved, yes. This is yes. proved. Yes. Another thing, I think we mentioned in previous episodes that the outer rocky layer of the earth or the lithosphere has been fragmented by deep faults into what we call lithospheric plates or plates of the outer rocky layer of the earth. Lithos in Latin means rock and sphere means sphere. Means, uh, uh, lithospheric plates, plates of the outer rocky cover of the earth. Um, of course, uh, the, these uh, started to drift away from each other until they reached their current position. Yes. Uh, these uh, plates, lithospheric plates, uh, are moved by the convection currents under the uh, outer rocky cover. And they are moved by the gushing of magma in millions of tons at the axial parts of oceans and some of the seas. So this process would have made living on Earth virtually impossible. No soil could accumulate, no groundwater could be stored, no plant could grow, no animal could exist, no road could be constructed, no house could be built. It's really amazing how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala stabilized the earth by means of mountains. When um, we have a mid-oceanic ridge and we have these deep folds in the axial part of the ridge and we get magma oozing at millions of tons every second, they push the sides of the ocean bottom in the phenomenon called seafloor spreading. And as the seafloor spreads in that area, on the opposite area, the sea bottom goes under the continent. And as it goes under the continent, all the sediments accumulating on it are scraped off and thrown on the continent. Mm. At the same time, as the sea bottom goes into the lithosphere, it uh, re uh, releases or displaces huge quantities of magma. And these quantities of magma together with volcanicity, that because it partially melts as well, all this complex can create mountains. And mountains by its roots can fix the continental mass with the ocean bottom. Okay, we'll go for a short break, Professor, and we'll be together soon. Thank Inshallah. you. Be proactive. Dr. Haitham Al Haddad teaches us how to take a conscious control over our life, set our goals, and work to achieve them in Islam. Take firm steps towards your future, be positive, and be proactive. Every single Muslim needs to have in order to be an effective person. So proactivity uh, in Islam, how to serve our religion and how to serve uh, our life and our guides through all of this. The proactive person is always motivated. The proactive person always have high ambition. The proactive person, he will not lose his time. He will not waste his time. The proactive person is a generous person. Welcome back. Professor Zaglul, we were speaking about the formation of mountains. Yes. But before we continue, I also want to ask about the types of mountains. Uh, of course, we ha can have very many types of mountains. We can have uh, volcanic mountains, 
that can be uh, uh, single uh, eminences on the surface of the ground. And uh, they can go as high as 5,000 meters above sea level, like uh, Mount Kenya in Kenya, uh, Kilimanjaro, um, Mount Ararat in Turkey. These are huge mountains mm -hmm. that are uh, formed by the piling up of magma, of uh, volcanic eruptions, you see, uh, uh, surface magma. Uh, we can have what we call collisional mountains, hmm. mountains that result by the collision between of, continents, between two plates, okay. between two lithospheric plates. And these uh, are usually uh, very high mountains, very complex. It goes in chains that can extend for hundreds of kilometers. And uh, we can have uh, mountains formed at the spreading zone, uh, at the uh, oceanic uh, uh, oceanic axial part. Uh, we call the sea mounts. Uh, they also can go into uh, several hundreds of kilometers. So they're mountains under the sea? Under the sea, of course. <laughs> under the sea. And we cannot uh, see the Otherwise, how that. can a volcanic island oh. be formed? Yes. Okay. It's, uh, the vol all volcanic islands are peaks of mountainous chains at the bottom of the sea. No, yeah. yes. And actually, every ocean has got a sea mount. Have got a mountain at its axial part. So more ma more islands are being formed, and we expect to have more islands in the ocean. More iron. No islands. Islands. More islands, of course. Yes. Uh -huh. With the activity of, of volcanicity, right. you, you get more islands. Mm -hmm. And actually, we have seen islands being created in our lifetime. Like which some one? Like, they were not there. Like so, which, one? which one? And some islands being destroyed. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, uh, at the beginning of the century. Mm -hmm. We had one of the Indonesian islands right. called Karakatwa. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, this island was uh, a volcanic vent, and the volcano was still active, and it exploded. And it, uh, of course, destroyed the whole cone. Mm -hmm. And it sent dust into the upper atmosphere um, to the extent that it stopped the, the sun shining for a whole year. A whole and science year. Yes, oh. and the science call it a year without summer. <laughs> a year without summer, you see. And the whole cone was completely destroyed. So we can see volcanic islands being created in our lifetime and being destroyed as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, to be a life cycle of life and death, presence and absence, you see. Right. Mm -hmm. So uh, we have very many types of mountains. I don't want to go into elaboration, but enough to mention these three types. Uh, isolated eminences such as volcanic mountains. We have uh, sea mounts at the axial parts of oceans and seas, which are also uh, of volcanic origin, but it can have some sediments mixed with it. And we have collisional mountains, mountains that form as the result of the collision of an ocean bottom against a continent or a continent against a continent if the ocean bottom has been completely consumed. Mm -hmm. Okay, these different forms, do they play different roles? They play uh, exactly the same role. Mm -hmm. The same they role. They play exactly the same. They are all stabilizers for the earth. The fixation of the earth, uh, mainly. Yes. yes. They mm -hmm. are stabilizers for yes. the earth. And that's why the Quran says, وَالْجِبَالَ أَرْسَاهَا مَتَاعًا لَكُمْ وَلِأَنْعَامِكُمْ And by, by the mountains, Allah has stabilized the earth as a provision for yourselves, mankind, and for your cattle. Mm -hmm for all the animals, all forms of life around yourselves. And in nine different verses, the Quran speaks about stabilizing the earth by mountains. Mm -hmm. We read in Surah Al-Nahl, وَأَلْقَى فِي الْأَرْضِ رَوَاسِيَ أَن تَمِيدَ بِكُمْ And Allah has thrown on the surface of the earth stabilizers, mm -hmm. lest it will shake with you. وَأَلْقَى فِي الْأَرْضِ رَوَاسِيَ أَن تَمِيدَ بِكُمْ وَأَنْهَارًا وَسُبُلًا لَعَلَّكُمْ تَهْتَدُونَ and rivers and passageways so that you can be easily guided. It's amazing, yes. really. First of all, when he says, subhanahu wa ta'ala, وَأَلْقَى فِي الْأَرْضِ رَوَاسِيَةً If we imagine how mountains are usually formed, they are formed by a process of throwing up. Mm. You see, when a volcano erupts, it throws its magma in the atmosphere and it comes down. When in collisional mountains, when, you, uh, when the sea bottom goes under the continent, this friction scrapes off all sediments accumulating mm -hmm. on the sea, uh, sea bottom and throws it on the land. And as the sea bottom goes down, 
the oceanic crust, as they call it, goes down, it partially melts because it goes, it's going into higher temperatures. Yeah. And this partial melting can create volcanic activity. So we have volcanic rocks admixed with these sediments. As it goes down to reach the zone of weakness, the asthenosphere, it uh, displaces some of this magma. Mm -hmm. And the magma is injected yes. as intrusions, as magmatic intrusions. This complex can create a mountainous chain. And this mountainous chain, by its roots, by its outad, can fix the continental mass with the ocean bottom, mm -hmm. and the movement comes to a big halt. Mm. Or we can have a continent colliding with a continent, and this is the final phase of the formation of mountains, when an ocean separating two continents is consumed. So a continent comes to collide with a continent. Mm -hmm. And in this case, we get decoupling of the uh, continental crust. And that's why we get the highest peaks of mountains mm -hmm. in what we call continent, continent, collisional mountains, mm -hmm. such as the Himalaya. Mm -hmm. The Himalaya is the highest peak on Earth. Why? Because there was an ocean separating India from Asia. Mm -hmm. And this ocean was consumed gradually. And when India collided with Asia, we had these high peaks of mountains. And we call this continent, continent, collisional mm -hmm. mountains. All these processes are uh, achieved by a process of throwing from up down. So yeah. think the, the exact verb exact that Allah used. Al -qaf al -ard yeah. Yeah. Uh, this throwing can be from uh, inside the earth outwardly oh. or from above the earth downwardly. Mm -hmm. And both can be said, oh, al -qa, and he has thrown up or down. Mm. Material that can constitute the mountains. al al -ard and bikum lest it should shake with you. And verily, without mountains, the wobbling effect of the earth as it is rotating around its own axis would, would, would shake us dramatically. Yes, really, you couldn't build a hut, not even a high scraping mound mm -hmm. uh, uh, building. You cannot build a high rising building or even a cottage. You cannot build it because this wobbling would destroy anything. But this, proce this process of the, the creation of mountain took a long time. It does take a long time, but that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, out of his mercy, did not create life until all this, until the earth has been perfectly prepared Ready for, for us. receiving yeah. life. Yeah. You see, And as, uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, the age of our earth is in the range of 5 billion uh, years, uh, 5,000 million years, a mm. uh, huge uh, age actually. And the oldest record of life on Earth does not exceed 3.8 billion years. So uh, life actually took uh, 1.2 billion, 1 1 billion, billion uh, 200 million years or 12 billion years to be prepared. Mm -hmm. So that mountains would be worn down, soil would be formed, uh, ravines and, 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 and uh, uh, valleys could be formed, rivers could flow, soil could be formed. Uh, really, it took quite a long time. The wobbling of the earth would come to a, a, a minimum uh, a rate and so on. But there is still wobbling today? Uh, definitely, mm -hmm. definitely. But acceptable wobbling? Uh, uh, yes, of course, at a, 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 a much gentler rate. Mm -hmm. uh, this, uh, without mountains, it could have been impossible to live on earth. Right. And the Quran says, وَأَلْقَى فِي الْأَرْضَ رَوَاسِي أَنْ تَمِيدَ بِكُمْ وَأَنْهَارًا وَسُبُلًا لَعَلَّكُمْ تَهْتَدُونَ why link rivers mm -hmm. and uh, passageways with the formation of mountains? Actually, mountains play a very vital role in the process of formation of rivers. Mm -hmm. Unless water, uh, rain, falls on a, a high peak and it flows with a gradient to the sea level, a river could never fall. Mm -hmm. yes. And look at the beauty of the connection, yes. you see. Wa subulan la'allakum tahtadun. Unless rain falls on a high area to uh, cut down ravines and uh, uh, form passageways, uh, accessibility on the surface of the planet would have virtually and been this, impossible. And this could also be counted as a role of the mountain the, uh, in the creation of rivers. One of the roles Definitely. of the mountains. Creation of river, actually, when, uh, and, and even the production of rain. You see, really? when these clouds hit, hit, hit a high peak, high peak. Yes. of course yes. rain comes down. Yeah. Okay. So the beauty of the connection, which was not known before, 
وألقى في الأرض رواسي أن تميد بكم الله has thrown down in the earth stabilizers lest it should shake with you and rivers flowing rivers and ravines so that you can find easy passageways to go through and be easily guided who would have known this 14 centuries ago other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala يعني I hope I have made things clear so to you. So these yes. are like yes. the main two roles of mountains. Yes. Three. Ma- yes. Three. Because you said the rain. Yes. The, the rain, rivers. The river and, and also the stabili- stabilization of the earth. So Stabili- stabilization of the earth as a, as a planet. As a in planet, total, yes. And the stabilization of the continental masses as areas to, uh, accessible for life. So we have both forms of stabilization. Mm-hmm. You see? So stabilization... A formation of rain, a flowing of rivers, uh, activation of the processes of erosion that can produce soil, can concentrate mineral wealth, uh, can make plains and uh, accessible ways on the surface of that globe, many, many values which were not known at all before probably the 20th century or even the later part of the 20th century. So these mountains were, were formed actually after the creation of land Uh, of course, we, we have fair, uh, uh, several phases oh. in the process of creation. You see, the earth was created first and then was outgassed mm. to form water and form part of the atmosphere. And it was completely enveloped by water. Then the volcanicity under that uh, primordial sea uh, created a sea mount. The very first peak of that sea mount was a volcanic island. Mecca. On that volcanic island, the angels built the Kaaba uh, in expectation of the creation of Adam alayhi salam. So the first thing created out after this phase was a mountain. Oh, mountains, a yes. Mountain. And then after that, the formation of land. Uh, after that, the formation of land. And, more, yes. and mountains after yes. that also. Yes. Uh, but of course, even after the formation of land, the process of uh, formation of mountains is still going on. Okay. It doesn't stop. We have and new mountains being formed today. Uh, uh, mountains are actually growing, you see. Yes. Okay. And uh, uh, mountains are dying. You so f- find some mountains that are still growing. The Himalayas, for example, are still growing. Himalayas are still growing? Yes, are still growing. Growing? Mm-hmm. Going up. By means of? Uh, by the, 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 this events at the, the, continental the, uh, the zone of weakness. Con- yes, plate tectonics. And also mountains contain lots of treasures. Lots? Of treasures. Oh, definitely, definitely, uh, especially in hot climates. Uh, these high peaks are the most suitable areas for living. Mm-hmm. Actually, the, the posh areas for living, you see. They even cultivate the mountains, Dr. Zaglul, like in an area like in Yemen. Yes. Uh, they cultivate, uh, I think, the coffee. on, on coffee. Yes, they have these the terraces, exactly. you yeah. see, yeah. that they use for, for cultivation. A lot of use, usage for, yes. uh, for the mountains. Yes. But you see, as I said earlier, mm-hmm. uh, the... Uh, vegetation of the mountains mm-hmm. changes with elevation right. until you reach a certain level about uh, three kilometers above mm-hmm. uh, sea level no vegetation can grow uh, due to first of all the uh, lack of uh, uh, lack of uh, enough carbon dioxide mm-hmm. uh, the lack of soil probably right. proper soil uh, the uh, water does uh, not l- lower the... temperature mm-hmm. yeah. يعني, Uh, probably excessive uh, sun, uh, sun radiation. And, and that's why you see, you find that uh, uh, you cannot find life above a certain level mm-hmm. in the highly mm-hmm. rising mountains right. such as the Himalayas. One quick question. I know time is running out on yes. us, yeah. but a quick question. We know if there wasn't any mountain, the, wor- the world would have been unstable yes. and Uh, unsuitable for life. Yes. What about if the world was packed with mountains? What would have happened? Oh, the same thing. <laughs> the same thing. The same thing. You see, if, if the earth was stuck to mountains, it can stop the earth from revolving around its own axis mm-hmm. or at least can lengthen uh, the, the period of day and night mm. uh, to a limit that cannot be suitable for life. Well, well planned, well so planned. Very yeah. well planned. Like you said, Professor, Allah has planned everything for us. Definitely. And sadly, we've come to the end of our episode. Till the next episode, we thank our dear Professor Zaghloul Nagar. Thank Nagar. you very much indeed. Thank you to our guests. Thank, thank you. dear viewers. And assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.
Oh, oh, oh.